That is true. They they almost go hand in hand. It's kind of, uh, for example, you know, like Joe Rogan was accused of being an alt right Nazi because he had an American flag behind him. Well, to them, that's basically might as well be the flag of the Third Reich. They see the American flag. They see you with a flag pin. They see patriotic symbolism. The left assumes you're an enemy. And just as surely, if I see someone who's patriotic, I go, oh, he's probably at the very least moderate or slightly right of center. Yeah, that's right. Well, the giveaway was when uh, when Donald Trump gave his speech in Warsaw last year and uh, said we need to protect Western civilization, the New York Times said it was a white supremacist dog whistle. Right, yeah, it was a dog whistle, yeah. Western civilization, Just apparently. Western <laughs> civilization, right. Don't tell that to the black and Asian Americans who've pulled themselves out of poverty in record numbers in comparison to any other civilization in the history of humanity. That is interesting. That is, by the way, Why the Jews from Dennis Prager, not to be confused with Why It's the Jews by Mel Gibson. Totally different <laughs> book, different direction. Uh, sorry, Mr. Prager, I know you're- Both a, critically acclaimed. Both critically acclaimed for different reasons. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that. I'm, the, the Winter Olympics are underway. And I've noticed this, certainly a lot of the American athletes and, and, and a lot of these competitors worldwide, when they're interviewed, when they win their medals, they talk about their experience or, you know, my, my, my journey and not so much um, their country and, and obviously competing this pride of country or certainly not as it used to be, you know, that America is the greatest force for good. I mean, if you look back uh, in the 40s and 50s and 60s, there was a lot of pride. You were competing for your country. Have you noticed that stark contrast between, I guess, sort of the, the post-event interviews today and those of your? I haven't watched them as, as much as I should to answer you properly, but I, I've, I've noticed it over the course of time. Look, the left hates nationalism, except for one. There's one nationalism on earth they're in love with, Palestinian. Yeah. But outside of Palestinian nationalism, since Marx, remember, the Communist Manifesto ends, proletariat of the world unite. You have nothing to lose but your chains. They divided the world between worker and owner not between American and German and French and English. They wanted to abolish national identity from Marx to today's Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. That has been a consistent. They have no interest. They have contempt for national identity. Right. And that's why they are for open borders. Yeah. They don't care. If, 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 if Ask a leftist, what if 50 million people came in tomorrow and American identity were thereby simply diluted. They'd go, so what? Right. American identity is fascist anyway. <laughs> Which is... They couple of ironies there. Uh, Palestine, not a nation. Also, <laughs> the, the fact that you, uh, as you mentioned, say, like, listen, okay, here, all the stuff you wanted. We have gay marriage now. You, the trans people can, you know, they can hop on up to any urinal they want. Isn't that a national identity you're proud with compared to people who have enforced abortions in North Korean internment camps? You're saying that Kim Jong's sister stole the show at the ceremony. Eh, how about just relating to the national identity that you've helped create here, modern progressives? It's, 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 it really is crazy to me. Modern America is something they fought for, too. They should be happy with. 